welcome to Market Match, where we pair brands with their sole customers using our matchmaking strategy. And so on today's episode, we have Adidas with their new product launch, which is Keezy's, a luxury shoe meant more to wow your friends than keep them comfortable. And so please tell me, Adidas, what is your ideal customer? Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me on the show. I cannot wait to meet my Market Match. Well. I'm kind of looking for someone that I can connect to, someone that can understand the value of my brand and the quality of the products, but also someone that's fun, someone that can kick a ball, can roll a ball, or, you know, do a somersault or two. But the main thing is that I need someone that can rock shoes like this one. Great. So now let's move on to our customers and learn a bit more about them. All right, let's start with our first customer. Hi, my name is Arthur. I just turned 75. I have two beautiful grandchildren. I'm usually categorized in the older demographic, so I don't really know what's the latest trend. All right, thanks, Arthur. And what, what's your story, Karen? Well, when I'm not picking my kids from soccer or getting my nails done, I usually shop at Sherway Gardens spending my husband's money. So I can be characterized as the suburban mom with high spending capabilities. Amazing. Okay, and, and how about you, Jane? You probably know me from my Instagram handle, Jane, Train with Jane. I'm a fitness junkie who's known for having every fitness apparel you can think of. So safe to say, I spend a lot of money on fitness gear. All right, okay. And and Chitali, how about you? What's up, Kat? Nick. But my friends think I'm a trendy millennial. I have over 100 million views on YouTube and 10 million followers on TikTok. I know everything there is to know from Twitch to Twitter. Okay, well, great. Um, so now we can begin our, our 5C analysis on the customers and the brand. Back to our lonely brand Adidas, where we can commence the 5C analysis and hopefully meet their ideal customer and retain them. So what would you like to know? Yeah, so I want to know when you make decisions, what criteria do you look for? So specifically, when you're buying shoes, what are the things that you look for? Let's start with Arthur. Practically, I'm too old for these flashy shoes. I just did my PT wrong. Okay, Arthur. What about you, Karen? Quality. I want to show off to all the neighborhood ladies and make them so jealous. Interesting. Okay. And what about you, Jane? Durability. I need to know to last my intense workouts. All right. And what about you, Nick? <laughs> oh, status on my Insta post and followers. Interesting. All right. Great, so Adidas, is anyone standing out to you right now? <laughs> I can tell you who's not standing out right now, and it's our grandpa over there. But I am curious about Jane. Okay. Ooh, that's gotta hurt, Arthur. Okay, and so Jane, what do you think about that? <laughs> well, actually, I've had quite a history with a few brands, and I know a thing or two about the second C competitors. Do tell us. Well, Under Armour and Nike are direct competitors. Nike has similar products, partners with celebrities, and a similar price point. Nike even has a larger market share for their athletic shoe lines, so Adidas really has to catch my eye. So there's nothing. Challenge accepted. Okay, now back to the customers where we can continue with the 5C analysis. So Arthur, what would you like to know about Adidas? I want to know the whole of the company. What are you bringing to the table? What's your core competency? Well, great question. I've actually been manufacturing shoes since 1949, and we have footwear, apparel, equipment, so anything sports related you can grab from us. Collaborators, I want to know more about the partners or the vendors that you partner with, your suppliers, and how well do they complement your company? Well, we have suppliers from all around the world. We wouldn't be where we are today, and we wouldn't be this successful if it wasn't for 500 plus manufacturers around the world. As a trendy millennial, I want to know how the brand has evolved in the past 10 years. It's not the same playing field now than it was. Well, you can customize your keysies any way you want. You want a funky color? Sure. You want to add yellow shoelaces? We can do that too. You want to add LED lights to your shoes? We can add that for you too. You can design your shoes to your heart's content and we will deliver. Great, so we've actually completed the 5C analysis and now we're gonna venture into the marketing mix decision with the four Ps to develop an action plan decision. Let's start off with Arthur. I want to learn about the first P, that is product. What value can you bring to the customers? How can you differentiate yourself from the competitors? 
Well, we do have a large range of products, giving you both breadth and depth. We also have an amazing reputation with our loyal customers, so our high quality products is what leaves you looking fresh. Promotion. I want to know how you communicate with your customers and promote Kizis. Yeah, so we use a specific strategy when we do reach out to our customers. So we use a poll strategy, one-way communication, so basically mass marketing so that we curate the most perfect personalized message when we do reach out to you. Well, focusing on the P for place, how are you planning on going to market? What channels are you using? So we channel our products through retailers such as Foot Locker and Champs, but we're also our own retailer too. We have in-person stores and online stores, so you can come and make a connection with us whenever you want. I guess I'll ask the question that everybody's scared to ask. What's the P for price? It's expensive now just to live, don't you think? So in terms of price customization, we base it off of product line variations with performance sensitivity being our pricing strategy. So yes, it can be a little high for you millennials, but I promise you, it's worth it. So I think we've learned quite a bit about Adidas and its analysis and action plan. And now it's come to the final stage of the show, the STP. So Adidas, what is your segmenting, targeting and positioning right now? And who are you going to send home? Well, if I could choose everyone, I would, but we know that's not the most effective. But I think we all know who I'm going to send home first is that old man. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to send home the trendy millennial as well. Great, so now it's time to select your ideal customer match. Um, this is so hard. I think I have to go with customer two. Okay. There you go, folks, the happy couple. So join us next week where we try to find the perfect match for Mercedes-Benz. And um, let's stay tuned for a little update of the happy couple. Hey, it's been two years since we had Adidas on air with us and we helped them find their market match. Let's see how they're doing now. It seems that the sales have plummeted, the profits have declined, and the product customer fit was just not appropriate. It looks like the fitness fanatic may have been a more appropriate match. Although the fitness fanatic may have a large wallet share with other athletic apparel brands, they are very devoted to this lifestyle and other customers like them are great targets. So thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next week.